Here's an example of the Opus Romano pattern in a wall tile that we made out of plaster. And uh, it's 48 by 48. And with this particular installation, I had to cut off one inch from the top and I'll be putting a uh, piece of wood molding up there to cover that. But uh, other than that, I'm just gonna continue the same pattern, the uh, 48 by 48 across to this side of the wall to complete it. And of course, I'm probably gonna have to trim some on that side. But I'll come back and uh, take another video when it's complete and we'll see what it looks like. But uh, right now it's looking pretty good. that's not completed yet but uh, we'll have that done probably next trip also have to make a door for the water closet there but it's starting to take shape finally get a little cleaned up um, it's a doorway that leads out to the other to the bedroom and the uh, utility room walk through here and there's a electric fireplace animals I did not shoot I bought on eBay but uh, they seem to go well with castles so that's why I put them here and here's some antique furniture couch also that uh, kind of goes nicely in this room and that's about it again the Opus Romano <clears throat> what I had to do because the uh, the one square if I had put them next to each other, up top there, the 8 by 16s would have, would have been touching each other. So for the second panel, I flipped the pattern. So if I were to flip this camera over, it would be the exact same thing as that, except upside down. But all in all, it came out pretty nice. And I think once the, uh, the rest of the stone is on, I think it'll be real nice. I hope so, at least.